Alrighty. So today I'm gonna to service the Harley. So I'm gonna show you how to service your Harley Davidson. Not too hard, pretty simple, anyone could do it. Um, this is my first time servicing the Harley. I've serviced bikes before, um, just not a Harley. So I'm gonna ride out to Harley Davidson, pick up a filter and some oil, and then get stuck into it. Pretty simple. But yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. It's a bit overcast, but um, you know, you're not a real rider if you just get amongst it, aren't you? So, let's go.
going? Yeah, doing alright. Yeah, good, nice bike. Yeah, doing alright. It's wicked. Alright, I'm here at Sunshine Coast Harley. My, my bloody blinker just stopped working. Anyway, I'll, uh, the bloke came out and he fixed it for me, so that was nice of him. It was just the bulb, but um, I'll go get some oil and um, the filter now, and uh, we'll do a service on this bad boy. Here we go. Got the motorcycle oil, genuine oil, and filter. So let's go home and uh, show you how to do it, eh? Right, let's go. So I've gotten back from um, Harley. I got a bit distracted. I was talking to these two blokes. One had a um, one had a street glide, and then one had a 500 street. Um, They're cool dudes, you know. I wanted to talk and stuff, so that was good. Um, so I've got the got the oil, and also the filter and a new O-ring. So that's what you need. This is just a basic service, not a major service. I, um, I think there's three oils you can change in these. Something like that. But I'm just doing a basic service. Um, next time I'll do a major service. But anyway, you wanna make sure your bike's hot when you're doing this. So I've gotten back from my ride, my bike's still hot. Um, I've let it cool down a little bit, but yeah, it needs to be hot. Um, one, like it, it just, the main reason I guess, it just flows out better as well. Um, and something to do with where the oil goes. And I know, I know you just gotta do a hot, all right? That's it. That's that's the main reason. It comes out quicker too. So yeah, um, I guess we'll get stuck into it. Um, I don't have a filter wrench or fitting, so hopefully it's not tighter than hand tight, and I can get my hand in there. Um, but we'll see how we go. Um, just need a basic oil pan or something to catch the oil in, and um, yeah, let's do it. Ignore how filthy my bike is, please. Um, so pretty simple. Um, you've got your oil filter there, and then on a fat bob under the left side, I wonder if I can get up under here. Under the left side, under the transmission, you will see this bolt. Just there like that. Alright, so it's a 16 mil, which I find really weird, but anyway, 16 mil. Of course I can't get in there. That was this thing. I right, just need to pull that little bit of rubber off anyway. 16 mils on there. So we've got a lefty loosey, so up towards the bike. Ah, oh, you. Fucking <sighs> <sighs> prick. Oh, you bastard. Yep. Never have I ever, you know, you get like an egg on your head or something? when you smash your head on something. That's the first time I've ever had like an egg on the middle of my finger. Like three knuckles now, don't I champ? Oh, that's awesome, mate. That tickled. <laughs> Do it yourself, it's rewarding. Say it every video. Anyway, so you undo that and then, um. You crack it, loosen it off a bit, and you should be able to start to twist it by hand, but we want to get the pan under here. So I've got this super cheap auto one. Get this bloke under here, and then try and get your hand up in here. Just like so, the oil's going to be hot. I try not to drop the nut. This is awkward. There we go. All right, so you start it, and then what we'll do, see how it's coming out like that? You start it, not the bike, or the you come around here, and then you undo the, the filler cap, and then it'll flow out a lot quicker. Oil on my hands, can't get my hand in there. <laughs> Give me a second. 
There we go. Should be coming out quicker. There we go, it's just constant flow now. Just like that. Very nice. Took me long enough. Um, so this bike, uh, the Harvey Donaldson um, Fat Bob, it takes um, 2.4 litres of oil. Um, so yeah, I've got 3.78 litres, um, but yeah, it only takes 2.4. Alright, now the fun part, uh, we've got to get that oil filter off. So while that's draining, get the oil filter off. So let's do that. Oh, also, you probably want to pack around the bottom here. I know there's special tools. I don't have them, so leave me alone. Um, pack some stuff or rags underneath or a little funnel. Some people have, like, this fancy little funnel that comes out. But, you know, we're not fancy, so shut up. We just take this off. You just put rags under it. Oil's going to go everywhere. Clean it off afterwards. It's as easy as that, mate. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's see if we can get a grip on this anyway. So, lefty loosey, I don't think it's going to happen, to be honest. I know there's a special wrench for this, but it should only be hand tight. I, might, I could probably just disconnect that as well, make it a bit easier, hey? I know with um, mid controls, you can just get right in there, but a bit harder. Oh, you bastard. Oh, man, I can't. All right. Give me a second. Well, this is fun. I'm already triggered. So, um, pretty much you can get this tool. It fits perfectly over the end of the, uh, the filter, but I don't have it. But I've got this piece of rubber, so I'm going to try and get it around it. And um, there's many tricks you can do, but um, or I'm just going to have to disconnect the the um, gear controls. So as you can see, this is not a video where I make everything look super easy, because nothing in life is easy, champ. Is it? It's not allowed to be. What? Mate, who done this up? They need a punch in the chin. I'll undo this. I'll undo this. I'll stop being, I'll stop being lazy. It's size. It's a 13 with a 10 on the back of it. 13. You guys. Alright. America use the weirdest sizes for stuff. Yep. And I was just trying to use this and it snapped and cut up all my fingers on the stupid... I don't know who done this up. Check it out. Oi, I'm having I'm having so much fun, man. So if you guys are home, this is how you do a service. Like it's so easy, you can do it yourself. You'll just never get your filter off, but I'm gonna smash a screwdriver through it and we're just gonna turn it. Another tip for young players, you can you can smash a screwdriver through it hammer it through it right and then you twist it off easy mate so i've tried another 10 10 odd times i've ripped skin off both me fingers um yeah so uh now it's time for the screwdriver trick i want to get as high as i can so i can actually loosen it There we go, I loosened it the tiniest bit. Of course, I put, put it in the wrong spot. <laughs> uh, I can't. Uh, it, it did loosen the slightest bit. You shouldn't have to do this. If you've got the right tools, it's easier. This is a bad example on how to service a Harley. All my videos are how not to's. 
Fire out. Yeah, I think I might just name this video how not to service your Harley because I'm retarded. Oh, you're kidding me. Just get the tool, honestly. Just go to Harley and buy the tool and you'll get this off straight away. But nah, you can you can watch this video, how not to service a Harley, and you can do it this way. Go on, you champion, eh? Go on, ya. Glad you stuck around, eh? Enjoying the show? Good. No, I'm joking. I'm not angry. I'm just upset. I'm just disappointed in myself. I should have bought the tool while I was there. I was like, nah, it'd be only hand tight, mate. You're only hand tight. Don't worry about a champion. <sighs> All right, so that worked. Um, I'm down to hand, hand tight now. So as you can see, I can actually spin it. Um, see the holes? <laughs> see the holes I made in there with the screwdriver? And then you just pry it around. Um, so I guess this is a um, how not to now video. But you can also take a couple of tips from this if you can't get yours off. But um, to how to, how not to, far out. I suck. I should have just got the tool and just done it. It is what it is. I'm still servicing the bike. You're still gonna know how to do it. So deal with it, all right? It's not pretty. Nothing life's pretty. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. <laughs> all right, let's do it. Let's get it off, eh? And yes, you're meant to have an oil pan um, underneath here, but I've just got rags. I'm just using rags because I've already made a mess. I don't really care at this point anymore. Um, and there you go. Bob's your uncle. It'll look like that. So there's the old one. And um, we'll get the new one and we'll put the new one on. A lot of people say to, to fill. Hold on. Alright, so a lot of people say to fill the new filter halfway. But if you're doing that on a Harley, it's all going to pour out. Because um, obviously you're having it on the side and then you have to screw it in. You can probably do it halfway. You might lose a little bit. But, yeah. Put the oil. Nice. Poke the hole through the top. Sweet. Top this up to about half. Just be careful. Oh, I should really hold this on the side. Go about half. Nice. With the the fresh oil, you wanna spread it around the the ring. <laughs> you wanna spread it around the. Uh, I don't know what you'd call it. The rubber the rubber seal. Spread it around the ring. Mate, hope you don't have a dirty mind. Anyway, so we're gonna that bit on the top there is gonna spill because I didn't pour it in the hole. That's okay. There's oil everywhere already anyway, so but I'll try not to waste it. I'll try and get it in as much as I can right now. It'll be right. Also, if you get oil everywhere, don't stress, it's rust proofing. Just leave it. <laughs> nah. If it's a greaser or a brake cleaner, um, it's all good. A little bit's going to spill, but it is what it is. Get it down in here. Pop it on. Twist, twist, twist as fast as you can. So don't spill too much. Alright. So that's pretty much on. Dry your hands up really good. All you want is probably a nice, say you properly fit it. One good firm turn, another good firm turn. That's probably it. 
If you're confident, you can get it back off. Give it just another little bit. That's not too bad. So, that's it. You just want to go hand tight. That is it. And there you go, the filter's on. Um, now we will go down here. On the, uh, the drain plug, you've got these little O-ring. Um, it's cheap as anyway, when you go into Harley, get your service kit or get your oil and filter. Get a new one of these, so this is the old one. And um, here's the new one, they just taped to the top of the box for me. So you want to put a new one on, just because it's better safe than sorry, you know. You don't want to be uh, losing oil wherever you go. So there you go, a new one on there, so be a nice seal for the bottom. All right, chuck this back in and then uh, we can add the new oil. All right, just give that a little quick wipe before we put this back in. As you can see, let's back up in there now. Yep, that nut's on. So we'll just tighten that up. Get a bit of Loctite in there. As you can see in the manual, it tells you on the dipstick what to do. So pretty much cold level check is two. So you want it halfway up the uh, checkered section. So you wanna fill it so it's halfway up while it's on the stand. And then you wanna take it, or you wanna run it, or we'll take it for a ride, and then see where it's at. Uh, get it to running temperature, and it should, because obviously it's gonna expand and raise up a bit. Um, so you need that room to adjust there. So you go halfway, and then you see where it's at once it's warm, um, and then you top it up if you need to. Obviously don't go past full. <laughs> And uh, that's pretty much it. So we'll put this put this oil in, and uh, we'll check it. So 2.4 liters, it reckons. So we'll try and go for like 1.8 or something like that, and then we'll we'll see. Also, try to make sure your funnel is clean because you definitely don't want anything getting in there that would uh, end in catastrophic failure. Yep, give this a clean. As you can see, it pretty much tells you everything on the dipstick itself. So we're going to go to about we're going to go to about the the middle. And um, while it's cold, on the stand, and then it's going to expand from there. Look at that! It's pretty much maple syrup. All right, so that's probably we're probably putting two liters. So let's check it. Well, that's not great, but you have to remember as well, we didn't start, sorry, um, we didn't fill the, uh, the oil filter. So some of that oil is gonna run into there and run around through the engine. So we'll start for a minute, see if it, runs through the whole motor and then comes back down a bit. If it does, sweet, then we're pretty much good. So we'll check it out, we'll start for it, run it for a minute and then we'll see what the level's at. All right. So, so when I started, the oil light was on for about five seconds. So that means obviously oil wasn't in the right places yet. Um, let it run for a minute, we'll see what the oil's at now. Hopefully it's in the middle, and then we'll get it up to running temperature, and then see where it's at. All right, beautiful. So as you can see, I don't even see that, it's, it's just under half. So, that's good, because now um, we'll add a bit more in, only a little bit more, and then we'll get it up to um, running temperature, we'll take it for a little ride, get it hot, and then see where it's at, because obviously it's gonna expand a bit. Um, so I'll add just a smidge more to get it just over half or halfway, then get it running temperature, and then um, that'll tell you 
where it's going to be at because it has to be on the full line when it's hot cool so i've topped it up as you can see we're we're at four notches and there's three more notches till full so we'll get it to running temperature and hopefully it should be spot on all right so we run this up to temperature now and we'll recheck it bike for about five minutes so yeah ran it for about five minutes up to operating temperature now you can you can hear it <laughs> you should have the noise it makes after you've ridden um, so we're gonna we're gonna open up the filler cap we're gonna check the level and it should have expanded and got all through the motor now and done its thing should be on the hot uh, on the full hotline now if it's not um, that's all good if it's just below that's fine because it expands and yeah um but yeah we'll have a look all right as you can see here hopefully the camera is capturing it but it might not be it is one notch or full so as you can see that expanded about uh two notches so so you can see um how you can do damage if you don't if you don't do your oil change correctly so i could probably chuck a tiny bit in it but um i don't think i will it's one notch off, um, that's pretty much perfect. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's done. It's pretty much how you do a basic service on your Harley. Um, or how not to. <laughs> You've hit the judge of that one. A um, Couple of tips, get, get a tool. Get the tool to undo your filter. It's way easier than trying to do it by hand. As you've seen, at least you learnt something. Maybe you didn't. A lot of people already know that trick. Hit a screwdriver through it and then you can yeah, you get you throwing it in the bin anyway, and you can undo it a lot easier. So, um, yeah, apart from that, that's a basic service. Some other things you want to probably go over is just some bolts. Just check, make sure everything's tight. Harley's are very they vibrate a lot, so you want to go over everything, make sure everything's good. Um, make sure no weird sounds coming from it. But um, apart from that, that's yeah, that's how you do a basic service, or how not to do a basic service. <laughs> Uh, I got it done in the end anyway. But um, yeah, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, and um, comment below um, what you'd like to see anyway. What you'd like to see, what, what videos you'd like to see in the future, or a place I could go. Um, I'm gonna, there's gonna be more content coming. I wanna go away camping, so I'm gonna try and get maybe a swag or some sort of little tent I can put on this, and then I'll do some videos like that, so that'll be good. Now I'm gonna let the bike cool down. Definitely, it's way overdue for a wash. So I'm gonna go make a cheese toasty, let it cool down and give it a wash. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Have a bloody good day and um, please subscribe. Much love, peace.